let's get right in. Our first news is actually um, was suggested was suggested to us by Subham. So thank you, Subham. Um, and it's out of Dodri, India. A wife asks for 30 Indian rupees to buy veggies. Man loses cool, gives her triple to lock. The police have booked a man for allegedly divorcing his wife by triple to lock following a heated argument over 30 Indian rupees in Greater Noida's Dodri. According to the woman, her husband allegedly lost his cool, thrashed her, then divorced her when she asked him for 30 Indian rupees to buy vegetables. The incident took place on June 29th, police said, adding that the complainant, 30-year-old Zainab, lived with her husband, Sabir, 35, in Nayabadi Mahala in Dadri with their three daughters and a son. In her complaint, she alleged that she was subjected to domestic violence by her husband and in-laws. My husband divorced me by triple to lock, spat in my face, and ousted me from the house, she alleged further. Spat in her face? Jesus. Um, okay, so but uh, for people that don't know what triple talaq is in Islam, so this is in India, right? Um, and... I thought this became illegal in India to do this. By the way, just before we get into that, for people that don't know what triple talaq is, uh, in Islam, um, what you can do, women, it's really hard for women to divorce their husband. They have to like drum through hoops and talk, you know, get the judge and convince, like they have to do so many things to be able to get a divorce and a lot of times it's rejected. But for men, they, it's easy to just get a divorce by saying talaq, talaq means divorce. Three times to your wife, you are officially divorced and that's how easy it is. You just have to say talaq, talaq, talaq three times and you're divorced, right? That's how easy for men to divorce their wives, right? Um, right. So, which is very unfair to the woman. Why do the men can get to divorce them? But uh, this man divorced his wife over 30, 30, what is it? 30 ru rupees? 30 Indian rupees, rupees. yes, to how go much, buy vegetables. How many, do how much dollars then? Uh, oh gosh, that would, yeah. Okay, very <laughs> little money. So, Tiny what, what is it? What a stupid thing to get. And he spat in her face? Oh, well, and it's, it's not even just that he spat in her face. It was, uh, according to her entire complaint, it was him. It was two of her brother-in-laws, uh, sister-in-law, and they thrashed her. And I'm not exactly sure um, if that's just wording that was used or if thrashing is something like caning. Uh, in India, I wasn't able to. So, Subham, if thrashing means something other than beating, uh, please let us know. But... Um, so they, they beat her terribly. And a matter of fact, they called her family to let them know that they need to go do something with her. She's no longer married to this man. Um, so her family went and got her and they had to actually take her to the hospital. It was that bad. Whoa. So, uh, okay. So that's why he was arrested. Not just no, okay. no, that's not why he was arrested. So on, on August 22nd, 2017, the Indian Supreme Court deemed that triple to lock was unconstitutional, right? And right. then just two months later, on December 28th, 2017, they passed a bill that makes instant triple to lock in any form, spoken, written, electronic means, and such as email, WhatsApp, anything like that, um, it's to make the marriage illegal and void, they can get three years in jail what? for the husband. Okay, this, this is weird. Okay, first of all, j just to clarify that, because people uh, in India, Muslims in India, used, were t uh, divorcing their wives with texting three times halal as well, or WhatsApp or something like that, right? Yeah. And India was like, okay, no, we're not having any of that. That's That's... I was happy before when I heard that India made that uh, unconstitutional, but I didn't know they made it a crime. I mean, why would you make it like, isn't it enough to make it void so that it ta so that the divorce is not, you know, legal? Why do you have to make it a crime? Like if the That's exactly right. I mean, it's so, so it's one thing. It's absolutely one thing to say you can't do this. It doesn't make your, your divorce legal, right? So then they can sit there and they can scream it all they want to, but it's not legal um, in, in the country. And, the, and then, you know, the couple has to deal with, with a proper divorce. But three years in jail time just for saying it. Yeah, but, but I mean, if it's void, if the divorce is void, then what's the point of making it a crime? Like you haven't divorced, like now the saying triple talaq, it doesn't, it's not divorce anymore. So what's the point of making it a crime? Like you haven't done, the, you haven't, divorced her anymore i don't understand. i don't understand india Does triple to lock typically come with uh physical violence 
Well, I mean, make the physical violence a crime. Right. I mean, it should be already a crime. You don't have to make it a crime. By the way, Sopan right. said that uh, 30 rupees, that's apparently 44 cents. This guy was not having a good day, does he? Like, over what yeah, I don't understand. But I, I still don't understand why it should that be. I mean, three years? Maybe, three years. maybe, maybe, maybe if the reason why they have to make it a crime is because making it void is not enough because maybe the Muslims have their own Sharia court and their own community. And even if the government still recognizes they as married, officially among themselves in, in their own Muslim community or divorce like so that's why they had to make it a crime because today in their eyes you know you're not my wife anymore the, the government be damned right so maybe right. that's why they had to go beyond just making it void <clears throat> but also making it a uh, criminal but still three years that seems th is this guy getting three years uh, they haven't said. They just said that they booked him specifically for divorcing his wife by triple talaq. Soraya is saying our parliament made t triple talaq a crime. Hence, Muslims have lost their calm. So an MP named YC saying the same thing like you, Armin. Hmm, interesting. Uh, so it's interesting how a lot of people from India just say TT. It seems like uh, for triple talaq, it seems like this triple talaq issue is such a big thing, like uh, such a big topic in India that people just now have to just refer to it as TT. Like that's how common it is. In this <laughs> yeah. Um, Beige, Beige made a joke. Uh, maybe he just didn't like vegetables. <laughs> I don't know. I maybe. Think just... <laughs> if that was the straw that broke this camel's back. <laughs> Uh, I guess and I said she was going shopping. She was gonna go buy vegetables. She said, "Give me money." Like, sh like <laughs> isn't that like that's nice that she's going and doing shopping? Like, I don't, I don't, I still don't understand what's what's the problem. Okay, and you divorce her over buying vegetables. Okay, okay. Um, let me see what the top comment is. So Hella saying, "Great thing for women don't have to live with such a person for a whole life and also get um, alimony." Um, I don't know. I uh, yeah, you can count. You don't analyze these stories as like, oh, it, it's better for women to li like. It's not. If you're if you're living in a poor environment, I'm pretty sure like being divorced from your husband will, you know, in most of these situations, is not a very good idea for a woman. Even if your husband is an asshole, it's really hard for you to figure out how to manage your life if you just abandon like that. Especially for you know, it's not like. Um, they could just go and find a new husband, you know, they're seen as used products if you're divorced, right? So yeah. it's not like, you know, you can't just be like, oh, well, he's a, he's an asshole anyways. Why don't you want divorce from them? Also, even if you do want, if you think it's a better deal for the woman, you have to make it fair. Like you can't just, the man can't just do tr triple talaq and the woman don't have that option if they want to divorce their husband so it's just a very unfair system uh, well i mean it's islam of course it's unfair atheists are under attack in many places if they were christians their voices would be heard if they were jews their voices would be heard if they were muslims their voices would be heard but they are atheists and not many seem to be listening let's make it difficult for them to ignore us we have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.